Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How y'all doing? Well, today, you know, I got an opinion. I've been thinking about something. You know, I see so many young ladies today raising children by themselves. Sometimes, perhaps they've been married or whatever. They had someone in their life that, it, that they had planned to be with and raise those children with. And, you know, I just think about my own life. Sometimes, you know, women have children from men. And we, when they having those kids and they have those babies and everything, they don't be planning on raising children by themselves. But, you know, some men, you have these kids, you have husbands, and they just up and leave. Leave you with the responsibility of taking care of the family and raising the children. And, you know, it's hard enough to raise a girl or a woman. But to raise a male child, that's a whole different ball game. Because, you know, as women, we can teach our children and we can teach our little boys. We can teach them to be good people. But we really can't teach them how to be a man. We can teach our young girls how to be young ladies. But we can't teach a man how to be a, a male child. We can't teach him how to be a man. He needed his father to teach him that. But, you know, sometimes these men... They come into your life and they walk out of your life. I mean, they leave. They leave their physical bodies, their presence leave. They leave financially. They leave emotionally. They leave in every kind of way. And sometimes they were never there financially anyway. You were pulling the load by yourself. So, you know, sometimes I see young women today, they are struggling raising their children. And I just want young women to know to be encouraged, to know that there is life after raising children. And there is life after raising young men. They don't stay little boys forever. They grow up to be grown men. Because, you know, some of these men we're with, they're truly deadbeats. Deadbeat dads in every way. Because they left their responsibilities. Even if they was through with the woman, why are they through with their children? Why didn't they take care of their children? Why are they not taking care of their children today, these men, some of them? But women, be encouraged and hold your head up and read your Bible every day to give you strength to maintain. And let me tell you, women, we're out there with those children, got those boys and girls out there, especially those male children, be the grown-up in the house, be the adult. Because you see, a male child has a strong personality. So you have to be the grown up to let those children know that you are in charge. And you take charge of your home. Because you see, when you take charge of your home, that helps your children to grow up to be respectful. And they're going to grow up to be better children. But when you get fear in your house from your children just because they're becoming adults. Or maybe because your sons are growing taller than you. Don't ever let them think that you're afraid of them. Don't even let it go in that direction. Always maintain that respect between you and your children. And you want it to be that way because you love them. And you want them to grow up and you want them to be productive. And since their fathers are not in their lives, some of them to do it, you got to do it yourself and you are capable because you are a woman. And as women, we do what we have to do. But you know, sometimes we marry these men because maybe we're lonely or whatever. But you know, in life, I have found out that you can be by yourself and lonely. And sometimes you want to be with someone or have a husband or whatever. But you know, I have found something that's even worse than the feeling of being alone, alone. And that's the feeling of waking up every morning with someone married to them and knowing for sure. You've married the wrong person. And that person is totally wrong for you. And they're not doing what they're supposed to do. They want to be the head of the house. But they're not caring for their responsibility. So you see, that's worse than any loneliness and being alone that you can experience. It's to wake up every morning and be married to the wrong person, a deadbeat. Because you know, they can be right there in the house with you and be a deadbeat dad too. Because they want to sponge and live off what you're doing. But honey, be strong. Because sometimes we find these men. And the Bible said, a man that finds a good woman has found a good thing. 
So honey, just stand still and wait. Don't go out there looking for nothing on your own because it's a lot of mess going on out there in those streets. And sometimes people try to size you up and they want to know what you got going on instead of what they can bring to the table. So know your worth and don't let anybody just live off of what you got going on in your life or bring your life down. But just concentrate on loving your children and raising them and just know there is life after raising children because I've been in your shoes too. I've raised children by myself. I adopted my daughters. I planned to raise them by myself, but my son, I had no intentions of raising him alone. So he had a deadbeat dad. And I'm sure he would tell you the same thing, but his mama was always on point. So ladies, be on point with your children and everything is going to work out just fine. But I was just thinking about those moms out there raising children by themselves. I'm not as old as some, but I've been as young as most of you raising children. And I know sometimes it can be hard and it can be really a challenge. But just keep going forward and keep your head up and just keep doing the right thing. And your children are going to thank you for it later in life. But that was something on Ms. V's mind. And I just wanted to talk to the young ladies and tell them to keep your head up and stay encouraged. Don't let your, your courage go down or be saddened by life. Because those deadbeat dads out there, they got to reap what they sow. They know they're deadbeats. But they're going to reap what they sow. So, honey, do the best that you can. And when you do your best, there's nothing left. And you see, God ain't the one making them reap it. But he's going to allow them to reap. Because any man that don't take care of his own, he's less than a man. And you see, they don't want to be less than men. But if, not, if they didn't take care of their own children, it's still not. They're less than a man. Sometimes their children can get to be young adults and need a hand up. They will not even give them a hand up. The children can be sick or whatever. They won't try to help them out. So that's a deadbeat dad on every point. But they want to think that they're real men, but they were less than a man. The boys that you are raising now is more men than some of them fathers have ever been. So young ladies, stay encouraged and keep your head up. There is life after raising children. And just keep in mind sometime when we meet men, we as women, and we get red flags up on them. And that's a sign telling us to run for our very lives. But you know, we as women, sometimes we're such nurturers and caregivers. We think we can change somebody, make them a better person. Baby, we can barely change ourselves. So if you meet someone, don't think you can change them and make them a better person. And they're going to do better when they're with you. No, they are who they are. What you see is what you're going to get. Because you can't change them. That's who they are. So when you hear or see red flags going up about somebody, take heed to that and run for your very life. Because that's who they are. You see, sometimes men don't appreciate a good woman until this 20, 30 years later. And then they look back in their life and they thought about that good one that got away. Okay, it's too late. Once they leave, let them stay gone because they're the same person that left in the beginning. They haven't changed. They still a deadbeat. They're just the older deadbeat now. So don't let nobody come back later in your life to try to uproot and ruin your peace and your happiness because they're the same person. Because they're going to look back and they're going to want you. They always want to return. But baby, don't let them. Let them keep stepping in the direction they was going in. And that's away from you. Because you've already been down that road, so you know what it looked like, okay? And then when you meet somebody, take heed to what you see when you're meeting somebody. Don't be so desperate that you so want to be with somebody that you just accept anything. Know your worth. Don't just accept anything. Make them come up to your high standards of living. And if they can't do that, they don't need to be with you. Well, okay, honey, that was something I've been thinking about, about these young women out here raising these children. And I see so many nice girls and they got children, but they're so sad because they're raising them by themselves. And sometimes we as women, we go through that over and over again. And it's really hard heartening, I'm sure, for so many. 
But I want you all to just be encouraged and hold your head up and continue to do the best that you can do. Because when you do your best, there's nothing left. And just know your worth and know that a man that finds a good woman finds a good thing. So don't go out there looking for nothing because you might wind up finding the same thing you had before. So that's all for now. That was something that was on my mind. And I want the young women to be encouraged and to continue doing their best so that they can, can continue to um, make it and complete the raising of their children, their most precious possessions. So thank you so much for watching my video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you and bye-bye.